Hello students, now come to the next exercise 5.6. The first question says find the ACF of the following numbers. So I have written some few uh, numbers here. First we will do for 20 and 35. Then we will try to find the ACF of 30 and 45. Then 21 29. Then 24 96. And lastly we will do 64 and 72. So let's do for this one 20 and 35. So we need to find the highest common factor. So for, for that we need to find the factors. So we will write here. See for one solution. One we will write. So here factors of 20. Simply we will write. So we will find here. Say 20. 2. 10 is 20. 2. 5 is 10. 5 is 5. Okay. It is very simple. 2 to 20, 2 to 10, 5 to 5. 2 into 2 into 5. Is that clear? Now for 35, you will write here. 35. As I told you, whenever you get an odd number in the unit place or ones place, it is not divisible by 2. You will move to the next prime number by 3. So for 3, I told you, you have to add the numbers. So you will add 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 is the not, it is not the multiple of 3. So we will move to the next prime number 5. So for 5, if you see the unique digit is 5 or 0, remember that. One second I am telling. When a number, the unit digit, in the unit digit you are getting 5 or 0, then it is divisible by 5. In this case you are getting 5, so it is divisible by 5. So 5, 7, 35. And 7 is a prime number in this 5 into 7. Is that clear? So what we will write? Factors of 35 is how much? 5 into 7. Is that clear? Now what we will write? Common factors are simply in the bracket. Factor of factors. Maybe if you get single, then we will use factor. If you get more than two digits, two numbers, then we will use factors. So common factor. You can know how much. Only see this five we are getting common, but it's only this five. Five. Okay. So therefore, ACF of 20 and 35 is 5. Is that clear? I hope you understood this part. Now go to the next example. It will be more clear. If you do more and more examples, your fluency will increase. Okay. Solution. This time you will write two. So one is over now. So I will drop this part. Okay. Now for two. Factor of 30. Factor of 30. And factor of 45, we are a factor of 45. Okay, now find for 30. 30, 0 is there, divisible by 2. 2, 1, zero, 2, we will get again 1, 0, means 2, 5, zero, 10, 15. Okay, now 5 is here, it is not divisible by 2. For 3, 5 plus 1, 6. 6 is the multiple, so it is possible by 3. So 3, 5, zero, 15, 5, one, zero, 5. So 2 into 3 into 5. 2 into 3 into 5. Now for 45. 45. Once again, I, I told you it is an odd number, not possible by 2. Let's try to add this one. 5 plus 4, 9. So it is possible by 3. 3, 1, 3, and 15. You will get 3, 5, the 15. Again, you will get 3 into 5. 3, 5, the 15. 5, 1, the 1. Okay? So 3 into 3 into 5. Is that clear? Now you will write. Common factors. See, this is the common factor and this is the common factor. Is that clear? 3 and 5 is the common factor. Okay. Therefore, ACF. Therefore, okay. Therefore, ACF of 30 and 45. Equal how much? You will multiply the common factor. Okay. 3, 5 is the 15 is the highest common factor. Is that clear now? Now, come to the next example. Let me drop this part. This is over. This one is over. Let me... Okay. Leave it like this. I don't need to write 
too many times. Now two is over. Now we come to the third one. <coughs> third. Okay, let me write solution. Third. Okay. Twenty one and twenty nine. So let me write twenty one, twenty nine. So twenty one here. Twenty one odd number. It is not divisible by two. By next three number two plus one three. So three is easy. Three is seven is twenty one. Seven one is seven. So very simple. Three into seven. Now for twenty nine. So odd number not possible by two. Let's add it nine, ten, eleven. Eleven is not the multiple of three. So not possible by three. Now move to five. It is nine here. As I told you, only five and zero. If you get in the unit place, then it is divisible by five. So it is not possible by five. Then by seven. Seven three is twenty one. Seven four is twenty eight. So you are not getting twenty eight here. So what you will do? Seven is over. Then eight is a what composite number? Nine is a composite number. Ten is a composite number. Eleven, thirteen, undivided twenty nine itself is a prime number. So the factor of twenty nine is how much? One into twenty nine. So there is no common factor. Is that clear? So common factors. What you will write? No common factors. So only one common factor you will get. It is one, but it is you know uh, highest common factor though. So by only one. So twenty one is divisible by one, and twenty nine is divisible by one. So only the ACF of twenty one and twenty nine. Sorry, and twenty nine is what one. It is only divisible by one. No other than any number. Is it clear? Whenever you are not getting any other number, so it is divisible by one. Means twenty one is divisible by one, and twenty nine is divisible by one. So highest common factor is about one. So this part is over. Now come to the next question. Next question. So three is over. Let me have this one. Now four. Twenty four and ninety six. Four here. We'll have twenty four and ninety six. So let's find the factors of twenty four. Twenty four. All the prime factors. Two one zero two. Two two zero four. Okay. Two six zero twelve. Two three zero six. And three one zero three. So two into two into two into three. This is the fact. All the factors are twenty four. Prime factors. And for ninety six. Let's find for ninety six. Two four is a eight sixteen two eight is a sixteen okay two two is a four two four is a eight two twelve is a twenty four two six is a twelve two three is a six and three and three so one two three four five twos so one two three four five and one three okay five twos and this okay so common factor C. This one common, this one common, this one common, and this three is common. So for these two we will write two, for these two we will write two, for these two twos we will write two, and for these two threes we will write three. And and three is that clear? Okay. So SCF of twenty four and ninety six. So what we will do? We will multiply all the numbers. Two into two into two into three. So two to the four, four to the eight, and eight three is a twenty-four. So you will get twenty-four. Is it clear? So it's very simple. Now come to the last example of our question here. Let me rub these two from here. Okay. All the four pictures from here and right. Last one is oh let me run this one also it is finished now. Last one is sixty four and seventy two five number sixty four and seventy two very simple sixty four. Don't be confused. Two three is six two two is four again two one is two two six is twelve two eight is sixteen two four is eight two two is 
फोर टू वन जीरो टू वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सिक्स टाइम्स टू इंटू टू इंटू टू टू इंटू टू इंटू टू ओके फॉर सेवेंटी टू सेवेंटी टू वन सेकेंड टू थ्री जो सिक्स वन जो टू सिक्स जो ट्वेल्व टू वन जो टू एटीन ओके टू नाइन जो एटीन थ्री थ्री जो नाइन थ्री वन जो ट्वेल्व टू 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 एंड थ्री थ्री ओ सॉरी सॉरी टू इंटू टू इंटू टू इंटू थ्री इंटू थ्री ओके द कॉमन फैक्टर यू कैन सी हेयर दिस इज द कॉमन फैक्टर This one is the common factor, and this one is the common factor. So for these two, one will get one. For these two, one, and lastly this one. So HCF of sixty-four and seventy-two. Four and seventy-two is simply multiply two into two into two equal to two to the power four to the eight. Eight. So HCF of sixty-four and seventy-two is what eight. So it's very simple. I hope you have understood this part. It is very clear, and you can do the math in this way. Just simply find all the factors, write it, write it down, and find the common factors, and then multiply. I hope you understood this part. Thank you.